Aloha and welcome to Stuff Review with Kalina. My name is actually Hawaiian. It's Hawaiian for Karen. <laughs> so I am a Hawaiian Karen. Whenever I go to Hawaii, I always have to speak to the manager. Okay, I'm gonna stop that because I'm gonna get flagged. I don't want to get flagged. Today we are doing Hawaiian Day. Luau. I know how to do the luau. No, I don't. I've been thinking of going to a dance class, but I think I can't now because of the new regulations. You know what I'm talking about. That would make a cute mask. Really cute. But anyway, we're he here to eat more coconut stuff because I can't get enough of that jizz flavor. I need more of it. And um, these flowers are sort of falling out. <laughs> But aloha, welcome. It's a rainy day in Vancouver. I thought I'd just brighten my day with some coconut stuff and remember what it was like to be in Hawaii and one day I'll go there again because it's so amazing. It's literally paradise on earth, even though there's traffic, <laughs> lots of traffic. I uh, take the wiki wiki. Anyway, so I got two fun stuff things. Do, 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 hungry Buddha. I think this is in tandem with the Thirsty Buddha. I think it's the same company. So not only am I thirsty for coconut, now I'm hungry for it. I need to eat that. See. Hungry Buddha coconut chips, chocolate baked, not fried, packed with crunch, free from guilt. <laughs> I don't have to be guilty anymore. Oh. Um. So here's a little bit of a confession to make. Um, the licorice that I was eating, the all sorts that I didn't like, I'm almost done the bag. So even if I don't like something, I'm just bored enough and I have enough oral fixation that I need to put stuff in my mouth and I just love chewy stuff. So even though it tastes like a grandma's basement, <laughs> I'm still eating it and I'm almost done. I'm um, eating the black logs with like the yellow inside and it just looks so nasty. The texture is a bit weird and the flavor is just bad. <laughs> a home run for bad. The villain team won this best baseball game. What does bottom of the ninth mean? Like the beginning of the ninth inning? I sat through a Dodgers game in LA. It was so hot. The highlight of that trip was the hot dog obviously, because it's me. <laughs> so, not really into baseball in the hot sun. I do like watching hockey. It does something to me. It kind of like lulls me to sleep. There's something about the noise of like the hockey rink and the announcers. And even if I watch like, or listen to um, sports radio AM, it's just like so relaxing. And I don't know why. It's like these people have this voice that is just like, uh, and... I think it's because I don't really know what they're talking about. They're just saying names and like moves that the players are doing and I have no idea what's going on. So it's like listening to white noise lullaby. <laughs> and it's true because when I went and saw a uh, Canucks game, I almost fell asleep. <clears throat> I also saw the Olympic women's hockey and it was so quiet. I don't know why it was so quiet. Anyway, I don't know. No answers for that question. Um, here's the other thing that I got. Coconut whipped topping. I can't wait to dive into this. I just love putting this in straight into my mouth, obviously. We're gonna get there. We're gonna get to the money shot in a minute. <laughs> so I'm gonna start with these Hungry Buddha chips. I just came back from swimming. I got my sun chips from the vending machine, finally it worked. And there's just something about eating chips after swimming in a public pool. It just hits different and it's like, it was so good. All right, let's see what we got in here. So they look like little burnt pieces of wood, right? How is this chocolate? It does taste like chocolate. Really light and flaky and chewy. It doesn't really have that juice flavor, but I'm okay with that. I wish the pieces were like a little bigger, but 
Because when I eat, when I've like opened a real coconut or when I get those coconut drinks, I take it home and I open the coconut and I eat the meat and it's like hard but chewy. And it has that jizz flavor. <laughs> I can't get over that. Mm. These are good, but they're just so tiny and brittle. They're really brittle. Like, I don't know. How do they make it taste like chocolate? Certified vegan. I'm on my way. I'm on my way. Do, 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 do. Okay. So, the pool in French is called La Piscine. And I swear to God, the French were just taking the piss out of the English. The piss in. They're like, oh, you British people, you just piss in the water. What is a pool? Do you poo in it? So, the English named it a pool. You poo in. And the French named it a Pissing, where you piss in. Do you piss in the pool? Do you piss in the shower? This is a rhetorical question. I'm not gonna reveal my answers. Okay, I will. For you guys. I don't pee in the pool ever. Sometimes I pee in the shower, because I'm lazy. Mm. But, like there's not very much in there. You know, for five dollars, it just, fe I feel like I'm getting ripped off. Coconuts? Do coconuts migrate? Just migrate right into my bedroom. I guess coconuts are hard to open, so that's why they cost so much. So, I do feel guilty, in a way, eating these. I feel guilty that I spent too much money. It looks like potpourri. Something your mom would pour in a bowl. Mm. Another story about my mom I just learned. She, when she was a kid, she found a birth certificate in my Nana's drawer that had her birthday, but someone else's name. It was like Margaret, whatever. And my mom found it and she's like, oh my God, I have a twin. Did my twin die? And my Nana was just like, oh no, we like, we weren't sure what to call you. So we called you Margaret at first. And then we decided we wanted to call you Louise. So we just changed it later. She's like, well, why did you keep this old one? And my Nana was like, oh, do you want some cookies? <laughs> so it's a secret. We don't know what happened. Family secrets. I'll get my family on board to do a Kardashian style reality TV show soon. I think that you, that would be cool and you would all like to see how defective my family is. I don't know. I'm the defective one. Obviously. Baby, love my family. Okay, I'm gonna put this here we go the nc17 rated r bit the new only fans i heard that only fans is keeping the sex worker the sex explicit content oh that was kind of hard to get open i like this little brown cap it's kind of neat i can't get it off though come on <laughs> why is it coming off this is awful never should this happen for a sweet treat that you have to wrestle with it that's how serial killers are made. So I'm shaking it. Shake weight. Remember those? Shake weight. Do both hands. I can do two at one time. <laughs> hey, hire me for your next movie. Um, all right, here we go. It has iron and potassium. Good. It's good for me. Coconut whipped topping, good for me. Made with real coconut cream, non-dairy and gluten-free. Here we go into my new life. <laughs> what if 
I done? <laughs> All right, everyone, go home. <laughs> oh, you want another one? Got a hint of coconut. Mm. It's like eating a coconut cream pie just all in a can of whip can. Like cheese it. I've never had cheese it in a can on the list. Mm. So good. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna eat this whole can because I'm hungry. The sun chips were not enough to satiate me because I walk home from the pool too. It was raining. I just want something yummy in my mouth. <laughs> clun. Je suis un clun. Some people can put their tongue over their nose. I cannot. <laughs> oh. Hey, you want to do whippets? How do you do that? I'm just clowning around now. Hi. <laughs> um, I worked at Starbucks and we have those cartridges there to fill out the whipped cream. And I think someone was stealing them. Oh yeah. What is in there? CO2? Five-year-old. This is so fun. Um, no. Bukaki. <laughs> That's my last name. Hi, I'm Kalina Bukaki. Sounds like a Polish name, hey? Bukaki. I'm gonna need a bath. Okay, one more. Mmm. <laughs> I'm disgusting, but I don't care because I'm having fun. I'm gonna eat more of these dumb wood chips. Mm. So, money wise, bang for your buck? Banging. This was like $3. I had so much fun, tastes good. Not that many calories, I hope. <laughs> it's just whipped cream. Um, this was more like $5. And it's okay. It's trying really hard, I can tell. You guys are really trying to kick it up a notch with this coconut stuff, but... <clears throat> it's like eating crispy onions. So, like in the UFC ring... All right, and the winner is, ding, 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 coconut whipped cream. Mm. Sorry, Conor McGregor, you got your ankle. Looks like it sucks. You're a dickhead. <laughs> you probably deserved it. And, uh, I have no place judging anyone else. Because <laughs> I am a clown. A bona fide circus freak. And you know this by now. I have been doing this for two months and you know this. So the other thing that should be illegal is I was looking for recipes for that banana blossom garbage. And it's literally just like beer batter, the thing you put on a fish. And I'm like, is that really gonna help? But the illegal part is that all these mommy bloggers and, and stuff who are like, my hubby loves this recipe, my hubby, my children, my kitties. I've never seen anyone call it kitties, but let's just pretend. Uh, hi, my name is Karen, 
and I'm a, a stay-at-home mom, and I'm a mommy vlogger, and I'm a mom mommy, and a mom in England. Um, my hubby loves this recipe for fried banana blossom. You just do beer batter, and then there's a whole tome, a whole novel about her life, starting from age three, all the way up until she got married and she got pregnant, and she what didn't know what to do with her life, and she found cooking, and it brought her fulfillment. And now all she does is cook and feed her family like a machine. Good for her, but I don't want to read a freaking novel about it. A freaking five minute long reading essay that it, there's questions, um, multiple choice questions that I'm gonna have to answer to make sure that I got the reading comprehension correct. Don't want, put the recipe right at the top, please. If I wanna read a whole thing, cause I'm bored, I'll go down. But I know that's not how the internet works and that's not how clickbait works and all that shit and advertisements and blah, blah, blah. But it should be illegal. The other thing that should be illegal is car alarms. I'm going off on a tangent here, but here we go. Car alarms should be illegal. Nobody needs them. They don't work. They're just a nuisance in the neighborhood. Why do we have them anymore? Please, Justin Trudeau, hear my plea. I'm going to make a petition. No more car alarms. If I was in charge, that would be the first thing on the docket. I always say this to people and then they just clam up and they don't say anything anymore because they're like, what's happening in this conversation? Is this for real? <clears throat> Could I run for office? I don't know. Let me know in the comments if you'd like me to be your leader. If you'd like to be me to be the leader of the free world, like Beyonce, but in a non-singing and dancing way, just in a ranty kind of like stream of consciousness um, word salad. That is my platform. Hello, I'm Kalina. I'm going to talk to you about everything and anything and jumble it up and you won't even know what you've just heard so you're gonna be like sounds all right and i'm gonna use a lot of big words so i'm gonna need to do a little bit more research and read the dictionary every day and learn a new big long word every day and that's my goal and i'm working on myself and it's going really well I'm confident that I could lead the world into peace and unity uh, and eventually uh, a cyber war between humans and cyborgs, AI, robots, whatever you want to call it. We're gathering resources and troops to fight the robots as we speak. And that's my platform. <laughs> fighting the robots. I think we can all agree on that. You're either fighting the robots or you're one of them. You're repairing them and building them. <laughs> the people who are building robots are Nazi scientists who are out to wage war on the world. Right? Okay. So, that's it for me today. That is my uh, political endorsement video. I, uh, I endorse this video. I approve this message. Oh man, one more. Did I eat the whole thing? Oh my God, I think I ate the whole thing. <laughs> Vote for Kalina. Bye.